Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Sanch Marie here, and you all, we are doing a dedicated fragrance review because I know y'all enjoy these. When I talk about a specific fragrance and break it all the way down about how we feel about it, do we love it, hate it, all the above. And today, this is considered this a follow-up per se to my sampling of Tiziana Terenzi um, fragrances. I do have a whole video to those. I link it up top for y'all to check it out. But yes, I finally decided which Tiziana Terenzi I wanted to purchase first. And and yeah, I've had this one for two months now and I've been playing with it, so we can really talk about it. And the fragrance, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail and title of this video is, we're talking about Tiziana Terenzi's Cassiopeia. Yes, Cassiopeia is that girl. She's everywhere. She's been all over sex and hyped and all that. But let's get into her all the way. As always, when it comes to dedicated fragrance reviews, I rate fragrances by four categories. The first category is mood, and that is how does this fragrance make me feel? Where do I see myself wearing this fragrance to? Second is strength, and that is on a scale of one to 10, with one being I smell nothing, it's just a pretty bottle, to 10 being nuclear juice. Then the third category is a long longevity, and that is how many hours long lasted could I continue to smell this fragrance after I have applied it to the body, clothing yeah what have you and then the fourth and final category which matters to a lot of people and that is is this a compliment getting fragrance yes or no we talk about it there so now you know how we do things and yeah let's get into it lipstick of the day everyone of course we had to do mac mullet over peachy nude color get into it i have it linked below as always because i know my elves like to know <laughs> next up fragrance of the day we went in with bond number nine and this is greenwich village of course no stranger to the channel but this is our fragrance of the day very fresh airy and just a crowd pleaser i have a full dedicated review on this fragrance already on the channel i'll link it up top check it out it's your own leisure but now let's get into tiziana terenzi's cassiopeia so just a little backstory on the fragrance like i always do this is not a new fragrance cassiopeia is from an italian house brother sister duo family owned business we love it so this fragrance came out in 2015 so yes like i said this is not a new fragrance it just became a hyped up fragrance for summer 2022 <laughs> and the thing is it only comes in one size which is the big daddy it's like a 100 milliliter size and its concentration is an extract de parfum so this is concentrated juice it is a niche fragrance yeah it's it's it's, a, it's quality a definitely quality you can find it it's sold at a lot of different places but i've definitely personally seen it in neiman marcus i've seen it in Saks, and of course a few online retailers as well so you can definitely check that out there and I have that information linked below where you can get it. So yeah, and it was, of course, it was made by Paolo Terenzi, which is the brother of Tiziana Terenzi. All right, so we've gotten all the information out of the way. Let's get into what you care about. Here is the box, very ornate, very, very nice. It is a part of the Luna collection. Tiziana Terenzi has a whole bunch of fragrances and they have different collections, but Cassiope is a part of the Luna, which I see, I like the Luna collection a lot personally. So yes. So the box comes with, of course, Tiziana Terenzi up top and on the packaging, this is where you see the fragrance is, Cassiopeia Extract de Parfum. And when you open it, this is what it looks like. There's your fragrance with booklets of information. And we have to talk about the packaging, elves. Let me tell you, this bad boy is heavy in quality. The cap alone is super heavy. And I also want to show you all the details. Look at that. They're very big into constellations and astronomy and what have you with Tiziana Terenzi. So yeah, it always has a lot of different ornate things on their caps. And I'm excited because this was my first purchase from Tiziana Terenzi. And of course, this is Cassiopeia. And another thing that's cool is in your box, you also get a more travel friendly and less heavy cap you can put on if you want to. It's easier to store that is for sure. So you just pop that on like that and it's not as heavy it's easy to move around but for the sake of this video i want to keep the ornate going i like the look of this and of course there is your name cassiopeia across the front so now let's get into the notes luckily in the booklet it has its information about the fragrance in here it talks about the luna collection but more importantly let's talk about cassiopeia so the top notes are passion fruit lemon cassis fern the middle notes are carnation lily of the valley rose tea and then the base notes are sandalwood fava tonka and musk 
So, okay, what does all that mean? <laughs> I know y'all like, what? And then the other booklet I like, the whole, the other booklet, just for reference, contains like every fragrance they've come out with to date, like candles, all of the information if you want to read up on it comes in the package which i do like as we know we can't always depend on for grantica online to give us the real notes and information about fragrance houses it'd be a little weird i'd rather get it directly from the creator of the fragrance so now i'm gonna spray a little bit of the fragrance to re-familiarize myself with it And again, I've had this fragrance for two months, so I have been wearing it a lot. It has been one of my summer favorites, so I'm, we can really talk about this. <laughs> First and foremost, this is light and airy fruits. That's what this is. This is a light and airy fruit concoction. That is literally what this fragrance is. Borderline candy sweetness. So borderline candy fruit sweetness. So very airy, very light that's yeah that's what this is giving me for right now so now let's get into the formal categories first and foremost mood you all this is daytime hot summer day that is when you are wearing this and particularly you're going to wear something that's flowy and it moves and blows in the wind you do not wear anything form fitting with this because this is not a fragrance that is serious this is a fragrance that is playful and light that is what this is because again it's a borderline candy sweet fruity that's what this is and that airiness about the scent keeps it light and happy it's a very happy fragrance i am happy when i smell this i want to be happy when i smell this if i'm mad this is a scent that uplifts your mood that's what i like about it Okay, now, now let's talk about strength. Strength, mm, on a scale of 1 to 10. Again, airy, lighter, happy, but it still has some body, so I have to give it a 7. I must say, concerning Tiziana Terenzi fragrances, the ones I have smelled, this one is definitely on the lighter end of the Tiziana Terenzi spectrum because the majority of her fragrances, his fragrances, because I have to talk about Paolo too, they're beasts because again, they're extract de parfums. And that's the thing about this. If this fragrance wasn't an extract de parfum, I would be nervous that it would disappear in 30 minutes. But with it being an extract, it lasts longer than 30 minutes. I have to say that. <laughs> so speaking of length of time, let's get into longevity. Okay, I really get happy smelling this thing, y'all. Mm, this is why this was my first Tiziana Renzi purchase because this just really makes me happy. <laughs> So longevity, this fragrance lasts a good four to five hours, which I must say, decent for regular fragrance world, but for Tiziana Terenzi, this one is definitely on the lighter end to me. Her other fragrances I have sampled, those things last for hours and hours and hours. This one, after the five hour mark, you're going to have to reapply to get that same impact, straight up. This is not a long wear, this is a fun day date type of scent. This is not an all day scent. No, it is not. Mm -mm. Last category and the one that matters a lot to a lot of people, especially when we're talking about the luxurious Tiziana Terenzi, honey. And that is, is this scent a compliment getter? And yes, it is. This scent has been listed as a favorite, as a pick on Saks website and everything for a reason. This is a crowd pleasing fragrance. It's one of the few niche scents to me that anybody can like this. It doesn't, you don't have to be a person that's very deep into the niche fragrance world. This scent to me is very person that's new to niche fragrances, new to high end fragrance world. This scent is not intimidating at all. This is a fun scent. It's very friendly. It's very nice. It's easy. Like this is an easy wearing fragrance. This is definitely a feminine fragrance because again, this is very very sweet of course anybody can wear it that's your business but personally this is a very feminine leaning scent because it smells like fruity airy candy to me that's what i like about this scent at this point <laughs> i love it i think this is an excellent wonderful addition again this was my own personal introduction for my starting my collection with Tiziana Terenzi because this one is the safest one I have smelled out of all of this. This is the only one I could see being a blind buy. This is the only one that's safe to blind buy, even though I believe in sampling. Again, I sampled it first. I purchased my samples. I shared that in the other video. But yeah, if you just was like, oh, I've heard a lot about it. I really think I would like it because I like fruity, sweet, airy type of scents. Then you can you can do Cassiopeia. You'll like it. Mmm. 
Okay, this is good. <sighs> I might have to wear this tomorrow. Okay, let me stop sniffing this. I really enjoy this scent. All in all, the hype is real for a reason and I think it's worth it. And again, look how much juice you get. It's so pleasant. I'm personally kind of sad that summer is ending because I know I won't be reaching for Cassiopeia as much because this is definitely a warm weather fragrance, but it is so pretty and good. It's just happy. It's happy and sweet. Like I like the fact that it is, yes, a grown up niche fragrance. Of course you see it at Neiman and all that, but it's fun. You don't have to be a serious fragrance head to wear this. This is a scent, it's just easy to reach. It's easier to pull for. It's gonna work. It's gonna do what it needs to do. So that's what I like about this scent. So that is my full dedicated review to Cassiopeia. I think it is fabulous. I'm super excited. And yes, this is the scent that has kicked off my Tiziana Terenzi collection. <laughs> it's a little collection, but I definitely have some more on my list I want to pick up because yeah, this house is stunning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Elves, let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you think about Castiopeia? Have you smelled it? Have you tested it? Have you tried any other fragrances from the house of Tiziana Terenzi? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you all. Also too, if you're digging me, subscribe to the channel. If you're here for content, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not here for any of this, that is okay. I totally understand. I still appreciate your view. But until next time, Elves, I will catch y'all next video. Bye y'all.